Hi, welcome. Now, in this video, we are going to design uh, uh, this kind of uh, water supply system. As you can see here, we have our, a storage tank here. And this storage tank is supposed to supply water in this node, this node, this node again, and this one, and this one, and this one. Every this node will have a certain demand. Okay, as you can see, this node has a demand. So this thing is supposed to supply water in these nodes. So one thing that you need to keep it in mind, we'll make sure that our head losses are maintained with, within a certain level and, and I'm going to show you how. Not just that, we are going to see our, our even our velocities are maintained in certain levels. And I am even going to show you that. And even pressures maintained at a certain range. So I really encourage you to watch until the end, share a lot of knowledge. Of course, that is going to be very helpful for you. So just watch it until the end. And again, I'll see you in the next part of the video. So before we start, first thing we need to do is to change project settings. So by starting, we are going to here views. Of course, let's go to this views. And one thing we need to do here is in Notion, let's change here. <clears throat> Put display notes value and link value, very important. And in the font size, of course, you can we can increase later on. If and the arrow flow arrow, let's put here field. Field. Then, if possible, you can even increase the uh, arrow size if you want. Node will just maintain three. Of course, by default, you it will be like two. So you can even change. Uh, just click OK. From here then go to defaults project settings uh, of course you can leave the way there now this is very important again flow units i will maintain with liters per second so you can change as per your preference head losses i'm going to use of course head uh, has and williams and i will just maintain the other settings just the way they are just man, just keep the way they are of course you can change if you want no problem um, Pipe diameter, of course, you can change them later. So if we can just click OK from here. And another one in preferences, of course, you can just keep the way they are from here. OK, so by starting, we can start by, we can start here with a water storage tank. Of course, we have a water storage tank here. And after water storage tank, we have a few nodes, this one and this, of course, in this one. Okay, so from here we'll have this node and again this, this one there. So yeah, one step. Then we we'll have uh, here and here. So from here, from this node, we can add another one like this. Then we'll have another node here and also another one from here. So from here we're going to have nodes here so what you need to do is to link these nodes with a pipe okay so from the tank we need to have to link this uh, of course okay okay link this and this and again this so from here we can come we be here and again here that is the end point from here and here then be here and another one from there then we can start we can take this at this level add here and this link add a pipe here connecting okay uh, uh, uh. careful please uh, from here yes okay so just go and link all of them okay so from here another one is here and another one is here so from here i think i forget another node it's supposed to be here i just forgot let me add yeah so this is our system okay so this is our system the next step that we need to do is to assign elevation on each node so from here we can start with this uh, with the water storage tank of course that's for sure the first one is water storage tank because we are taking water from storage tank to the destination of course this this nodes here so our tank is located at a thousand of 
because this is meter uh, above uh, mean sea level that's 1000 so from here initial level so initial level minimum level and maximum level now before we go let's learn something here so this is the minimum and this is the initial and of course because this because here we have um, overflow we can just keep the same level as maximum so we and anything above this level will be taken out so from here this is our minimum so anything below this level the system is going to shut off so from here this is our ground level here so I, I just forgot to add a line here so this is the ground level so that being said our initial level will just maintain here as 3.2 and the minimum level 0 0.3 of course because there is a water that is left on the tank as a dead volume or unconsumed water let's call it so here we'll maintain 0 0.2 and our tank diameter is 7.2 so that's it elevation very important 1000 and the uh, and the rest value uh, diameter here i just forgot just put here 5.2 we are done okay so yeah it's okay so nodes nodes we need to assign uh, elevation on each node so bear with me so from this elevation here is um, nine of course the base demand is zero and elevation here is nine uh, seven nine hundred and seventy demand is zero and they are that node so at this junction here our elevation here is nine sixty of course the demand is zero so from here now from uh, this one here is um, 910, 910. Again, the demand is zero. And this node here, of course, as you can see here, this is the, is the point where people consume water. It can be a, del a delivery point, ODP. So from here, uh, this its elevation will be 960, of, of course, 860. And the demand here, now before that, let me finish first with elevation then we will come there after with um, assigning the base demand on each uh, appropriate nodes so this one was this is 910 and this one is 80 90 890 okay and this so this is 80 and this is 800 and this one is 80 50 so let's come in this yeah in this branch here so at this junction here we we'll just mean our elevation is 900 of course demand at this is zero um and this one is um 868 868 and this last point here is 80 uh, 51 okay so at this the last point here the demand the, the elevation is 870 that is very important and the other one is this one of course this one was uh, 800 so we'll maintain this up to 80 80 80 80 80 and the last point here 842 of course 842 so elevation done so the next point we need to assign the demand on these nodes here of course this here we have people and again this and this area this area and this and this area so we need to assign the demand here so at this point the demand is uh, 2 liters per second remember we said these values before 2 liters per second and again this one the demand here is 1.8 liters per second and again this one is 3 liters per second and this point here the demand is 1.1 uh, 1.1 liters per second and again um, this one 
is 1.25 liters per second and uh, this this point here is 1.5 okay so our gravity main which is this one is supposed to carry the uh, is supposed to carry water sufficient to supply in every node here of course so take the summation of these nodes and this is what our pipes at the gravity main supposed to carry so if the summation is 10 then our flow here will be 10 so we need to size our pipes to be able to carry such a demand so before that as you as you can see uh, by default the length is the, the diameter is 12 so we need to change the whole diameters here so by in simple or in simple you can do this um, select all so select everything now from every selected item we need to group edit so from group edit select pipes of course in pipes we, have, we want to change the diameter for now let's assign 75 okay 75 throughout 75 throughout okay so we changed our diameter now is 75 again by default length is uh, of course our length here so this one is length here is um, 120 and 200 and the length here again 562 and again this one okay 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 just make sure you change the length of course this one will be the shortest uh, actually is one two, so this one again maintain at 12 uh, this one um supposed to be there that one and again this one the same so from here and this 850 and this 1230 and again this 200 and like that this one nope this one's too big of course this uh oh we felt this one is one so that is it so until now we managed to size our tank of course or to put the appropriate dimensions for the tank and assign node on and assign elevation on each nodes so from from there we just managed to change the size of pump of um, pipes now from there we even go further and assign the water demand on each node okay so that is the work that we did until now that we do until now so from here we need to run and see if everything is fine of course the a negative pressure here we have so we need to see so we run our model of course we see the water the water direction here we have some some water come in this uh this branch here and another one in this and another amount in this so what we need to do here we need to see which junctions have a uh, negative pressure so as you can see here nodes go to maps it's not, not data map then select node now in this node we need to display pressure of course pressure so you can see here almost everywhere is negative every node has a negative value okay so this is where we need to start so if you look here as as i have said our gravity main here is supposed to carry the water to supply in every node here in on every this node so what we need to do is start by increasing the pipes in the gravity main of course pipe 75 is a bit small 1110 let's see from here if we put remember this is negative 146 now before that let's increase let's change the text height so, so as we can see clearly text height now font height remember just go from op just go option then notion notation here then we can increase font size here so as we can see clearly just maintain eight now now we see so from here as you can see here 
is 146.41 so we changed the f to 110 110 millimeter internal diameter of course we need to put the internal diameter as you can see at least now pressure increased so let's increase again 150 so we can see if we so now everything's fine so you, you can see here now we have a positive value so let's do this in this gravity main here we'll put everything 150 150 and here 150 so one thing that we need to also to put in mind let's run first of course we have negative but at least in the gravity main and even in this portion here we don't have negatives anymore so one thing we need to put here in mind is that uh, one thing here we do, we didn't change and we'll change from here remember our pipes are hdp plastic pipes and roughness it's not a hundred so roughness here is one 140 but you cannot go here and change each and every pipe here we'll need to find a simple way to do that of course you can go to edit select all and from select all group edit then pipes so from in pipe here we can check in diameter no not diameter this time roughness we can change from one 100 roughness to 140 of course for plastic pipes 140 and let's run again at least now uh, pressure so pressure uh, reverse then you can put here black and this one uh, purple actually both of them they're, they're supposed to be purple mm -hmm, purple and even this one purple so what we need to put to keep in mind here is that any pressure less than five anything less than five when it comes to pressure we need to to change so here i'll put here five of course it depends from country to country but for me anything less than five then we need to change the the uh, that particular node so we'll put here so as you can see here we have a uh, pressure which is less than five is at this junction and this junction as you as you can see here pressure is 0 0.05 and here is 2.73 which is less so if pressure is less then what we need to do okay and that's the thing that we need to ask ourselves if pressure is less what the what does that mean that means that we have high value of head of head loss if we have high value of head loss then what we need to do is to increase the pipe size so from here we can put here 90 and see how we are going to respond in these two nodes okay so as soon as we we increase the pipe uh, pipe size here at least now we have a, a sufficient value as far as pressure is concerned so here is 90 so the rest one will maintain at six of course here we, let's keep here 63 remember pipe size you need to put internal diameters right internal diameter that's very important that is very important and again here is 63 let's see how pressure will behave of course it's no problem let's put here 50 and here 50 remember internal diameter use internal diameter that's very important internal diameter okay and run again okay so from that let's see flow of water so in this browser here go to map and select links then in links what do we want to see uh, links we need to see the flow so you can see here the summation of what is so the summation of demand in here in this node this node and this node is 10 of course this is what is being supplied by gravity main here and the one thing that we need to note here this is two liters per second of course this one this plus this is this and uh -huh, so flow that is flow let's see velocity now velocity again velocity 
anything less than 0.4 of course it's depend from country to country but anything less than 0.4 then we need to change our pipes anything less than 0.4 meters per second that is not good and we'll need to change uh, of course we'll need to work on pipe on pipes okay anything here then anything above to be red so red red now here just put here one and 1.5 so anything above 1.51 1 .51, then we'll need to change our so you can see here here we have a very big uh, value of velocity so what what does this mean if velocity is high meaning that our head losses are also high and if losses are high meaning that uh, our pipe is a little bit small so we don't want this value here 1.53 at least we'll need, we'll need to find a way to reduce so we'll introduce here 63 let's see again at least now it just makes sense so in this portion here so you can see here we have uh, a velocity of course here in links velocity you can see here velocity is is less than 0 0.4 so from here again we need to change remember for me i use 0 0.4 it's depend from country to country but 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 you can change it from there so for me i'll just maintain 0 0.4 so you can see here is 0 0.3 which is less than 0 0.4 so we again we need to reduce the pipe 63 and again here reduce the pipe 63 so we, we reduce the pipe so as we can get a sufficient uh, uh, velocity reduce the pipe and again here reduce the pipe 63 and again here 63 Let's run again to see if velocity is, of course here we have 0 0.4, 0 0.4, again here reduce the pipe again, so as you can increase the value of velocity, Less the, uh, a little velocity is not good, small, uh, small velocity is so from here, run, so at least we managed to change something here, now in this area 75, and again here, not bad 0 0.4 0 0.4 not bad okay but one thing that we need to keep it in mind is that here uh, this is very big you know this is very big and let's say let's put here 50 uh, it's not significant yeah we'll just put there 50 so you can work on that and again here 50 again okay let's see pressure is good velocity flow everything is perfect head losses mm, now head loss now in head loss what we need to keep in mind is that it is advised that at least 10 meters per one kilometer 10 meters per one kilometer as you can see here we have very very big losses so from here uh, what we need to do is to increase this but again can we manage yeah at least now but how about velocity is manageable so let's see here and even this pipe here vel uh, losses are too big so from here we can increase let's maintain to keep the same with this 90 and here 90 okay let's run again uh -huh. so now as you can see here at least now we are getting close 63 and again here 63 uh, because here our demand is how much three liters per second so we need at least to have uh, enough pipe at least to reduce this amount of head losses to keep them less now we are doing fine how about velocity velocity is good head losses everything is checked perfect and here again but this pipe here i don't like it but you know it's not that bad 10.311 not that bad 
let's put here 90 so uh, these are the value that you need to keep it in mind you know sometimes as you increase the pipe sizes you you need also to, to think about the economic part of it okay increasing pipes is, it's not that good you need also to think about the economic part of it so for me i think here we'll just maintain 75 okay yes it is above 10 meters but it's not that bad okay 11 not that bad okay so i think we are doing perfect okay we are doing fine and another parameter that we need to check is the flow everything uh, velocity so what we do uh, what we did here is just to make sure that velocity is not is not below 0 0.4 okay it's not below 0 0.4 and it is also not above 1.5 of course it varies from country to country you can check in your country but for me not above 1.5 and not less than 0 0.4 meters per second um i think our system here is perfect remember this is a single period a simulation in the next tutorial maybe we'll just to see how if we run uh, extended period simulation what is how the system is going to behave so for now i think i think that is it let's try to see some parameters here uh let's see Let's in this uh, pipe here. Uh, demand here, of course, it's fine. Uh, what else? Uh, in this simple tutorial, we managed to see how to model this kind of uh, water supply system. It's a gravity water supply system where our source of water is this water storage tank here. Okay, so we try to check to size our system in such a way that velocity is not a going below or beyond certain limits again unit head losses not go beyond certain limits as a, as we have discussed and not just that we even go further and try to learn how to uh, assign elevation to change pipe sizes of course by observing uh the we need to display the results okay the results so what we need to do let's say the all nodes so this is the nodes you can see here nodes uh, before let's do this um, so this is a node what we what we need to display we don't need to display water quality so we'll just leave pressure head demand and uh, elevation and base demand yeah base demand literally so this is the result okay elevation at this junction okay so at this so this junction here elevation is this demand is zero of course head that is head and pressure okay so if you want again to view uh, to view or to view links which are pi uh, literally pipes so in pipes what we want to see we don't want to see status or quality because we are not working with water quality so unit head loss velocity and diameter and length so those are the parameters that we need to see that i want to see so as you can see here this is the velocity column everything of course you can uh, so that is it and again another one is uh, of course that is it so if you want to see a full report you can just click here full of course then you can save it let's say a project so project i'll save it at the desktop just click there so this is our project open with you can just go and open with microsoft open with microsoft excel microsoft excel where is microsoft ah, so no microsoft word just click ok yes click ok it takes a little bit to open so let's wait for it so this is single period simulation of course in the next story or in the next videos i will try to see how this how we can size such a system by using extended period simulation of course yeah let's wait see so that is it so everything you have in here 
okay everything here it is so that is it guys thank you for watching and hopefully i'll see you in the next video